well hello everybody how you guys doing welcome back to another video graphic arc family member hope you're doing okay uh, but uh, come on let me just get to the point on what today video will be we will be optimizing your system so uh, your intel arc will work the best as it can you know we will show you how i mean i will show you how you must uh, display driver uninstaller the usage of this program which is really good uh, if you have problems with the graphic drivers just use DDU from safe mode and uh, everything should be good but uh, okay I will show you today what you must do in BIOS and some other things to increase your performance on Intel Arc graphic cards so let's go to the BIOS and uh, do some optimizations right here you know I already have here everything optimized as you can see precision boost overdrive everything is uh, uh, overclocked as well, a RAM I have there a bit more, you know, the 4000 megahertz somehow it's not working that uh, good on my uh, 5950X, uh, which is super weird, but uh, yeah. If you have AMD system 5000 series and above, go to settings, AMD overclocking and set the following, but season boost overdrive to advanced, the PBO limits to motherboard and manual 10 times, and uh, then you play with curve optimizer, I advise you to first go with like, let's say 20, negative, then maybe go with 25 and 30, 30 is rarely stable, so... Uh, do the baby steps of 5 and test your system if it's uh, working good. Make sure you place that to enable, put to positive and to the max so it boosts the CPU clock speed. There's that. Uh, then we have uh, miscellaneous. Uh, here you don't have to change anything, at least on the gigabyte board. But the IO ports, dear, this is the most important thing that you need to set. Above 4G decoding and the resizable bar support on. This is a must thing, oh, also the initial display output, try to force the GPU, not the iGPU if you have Intel. Uh, if, and yeah, make sure you enable resizable bar. If you don't have this, uh, well, the Intel R graphic card won't perform as good. So uh, yeah, once you do that, uh, you can obviously also overclock RAM. Uh, oh, oh, and AMD. Make sure you disable AMD cool and quiet function. For me, this always gives just problems. Maybe a bit more usage, maybe a bit more temps, but uh, the system works better if you disable that. So once you change everything, make sure to change the save, save changes and then go here to your Intel Arc control center, go to the settings above system info and check if your resizable bar is enabled or not. If it's not, well, uh, repeat the steps. You might have maybe, um, unsupported motherboard which is usually second gen to eighth gen on intel and some other systems but uh, there is always uh, this option of rebar ufi uf uefe sorry <laughs> uefe uh, which you can mod a resizable bar inside your bios uh, make sure you go down here you can see a list of working motherboards uh, as people are already tested it out check if it's here on your uh, list your motherboard is on the list and see if it works if it doesn't well you can still try and check if it works you know but uh, yeah i'll make a video regarding this for sure i got two systems here which i can try this on so uh, we'll be doing that now the next step what you can do is uh copy this command that i have over here um, and uh paste it into the windows powershell you make sure you run it as administrator so it uh, runs uh, this uh, christitus tool you can also check this website everything is written there but uh, i leave the in the description the code and uh, once this opens you go to config and make sure you select this add and activate ultimate performance plan this is what you need to have activated you can also do this here uh, recommended selections to minimal and uh, use dns of google so internet works better i usually do this on most of the systems but uh, okay if you have if you like windows update i dis i have them disabled if you want windows update just make sure you go to updates and enable the security recommended updates and uh, yeah that should be it uh, for Christitus. Uh, you basically just then go to power options and check if ultimate performance plan is activated or not. This will set everything here to the best setting possible for your system to work. But uh, do note your idle GPU usage will be to the max because here it's not set to power safe. So uh, yeah, the last thing actually you can do right now guys, you know, 
He's overclocker GPU, obviously. Look at this. I will quickly show you here in Alan Wake. This is stock setting, 2400 megahertz. We got 65 frames per second right now, but if we overclock to, let's say, 2700, man, look at the boost. We already got about 6 FPS plus up. Now imagine if we overclock a bit further. <laughs> look at this. From 65 to 73 FPS just in Alan Wake. Running optimized settings without ray tracing, obviously I did a video yesterday, so make sure you check it out, or just check Digital Foundry's video and uh, you will find the optimized settings for uh, the game. But yeah man, overclocking our Intel Arc GPUs really boosts our performance here like crazy. I was able to get 2750 MHz stable, but uh, the further I went the more it crashed <laughs> you will see what i mean but uh, oh my god guys look at this look at this now this will surely make it a fully playable 60 fps experience with optimized settings if uh, we overclock the gpu okay there are still some stutters here and there i think it's gpu related not sure if driver or game not optimized for intel arc gpus but uh, i'm gonna go check something out yeah i'll be right back I've played this on my uh, Intel system 3090, it worked way smoother, but uh, okay, me, I will be trying A770 also on my Intel system and see if it works better, you know, I have two systems to compare, but uh, yeah, look at this guys, man, overclock really is helping out big time. I got some videos how to use Arc OC tool or overclock via Intel Arc control center in uh, my playlist, you can check in my channel. But uh, do note, see, right now I'm stable at 2705 MHz, but uh, if I put a bit more, what will happen? Wait, no crash? I... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> make sure you test your overclock. Uh, so this doesn't happen. Let's see what... Break, break, break. Tom, Tom. <laughs> Insert Windows error sound here. <laughs> Anyways, this is the optimization tips I advise you to do to have the best possible experience with our Interact GPUs. Uh, oh, you need to open Task Manager to actually close the game. And uh, yeah, make sure you also check my video how to did you the driver. And always make sure you in clean install the newest driver with this method if you don't want any trouble. Unless, obviously, driver is broken, but we can't do anything about that. This step will just make sure everything works perfectly. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, uh, check this video, do the steps, and let me know.